So um, after we came out with the first Iron Sky 2012, and 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 we decided to continue the saga, and and then uh, uh, digged into the conspiracy theories and and uh, and and this sort of the background on on the on the reels on on the on this history uh, was a great setting for a big adventure and for me personally i i enjoyed on this sort of like uh, uh, to put this pretty traditional adventure story in this crazy setting where we are with with the with, uh, uh, with the conspiracy theories and with some political commentaries and so on and and that was the thing for me Um, with crowdfunding, you mean? Yeah. yeah, I mean, crowdfunding for me always has been uh, uh, one part of the crowd engagement. So it's it's not only crowdfunding what we are doing. It's it's we are doing a lot of uh, collaboration with the crowds, and 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 the fans are helping us with many ways. For example, we had a, over 300 fans traveling to the shootings in Belgium and and to be eaten by dinosaurs and doing other. Uh, other extra roles, um, so crowdfunding is one part of of, of the bigger thing, and uh, but in in our case uh, it has been pretty successful in this way that we, uh, uh, I mean if you take the whole budget which is 20 million euro, uh, it's 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 less than 10 percent the crowdfunding, so it's not uh, it's not a major part of the f of the funding but. The, the times when we needed we needed it it was it was most important for example in the beginning uh, in the very beginning when we had the, the sort of the storyline and we knew that we are going to have dinosaurs and Adolf Hitler riding on a dinosaur we wanted to make the promo first promo and we wanted to write the script and for this we made a crowdfunding campaign and in, at that point the crowdfunding was 100% but then in the end, you know, it's 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 smaller uh, share from the whole. But it has been very very uh, helpful and very important. Um, it's it's I think in 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 a bigger picture, crowdfunding is is as I said, is part of a crowd engagement and and it's 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 one way of communicating with your audience. So I think it's it's that sort of the the uh, bigger. Uh, vision I have with crowdfunding, rather than saying that that in the future you would fund your films with crowds, that's the, it. It will also happen, and it it can also happen. But but I, I see it more like uh, uh, it's part of the communication. Um, in this way, yes, that that we we used. Uh, already on the script phase, we uh, it was also one way of of crowdfunding uh, combined to the crowd sourcing in a way that that people paid us to read the script and give comments, and 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 those comments are very helpful when you are creating something, and it's a it's a thing that that you uh, you listen to these comments, you read those comments, and and then. Then you use what is valuable. So it, it's uh, so we keep the artistic sort of control on everything and and just get the comments and and use them. Um, so it's not building the story is not building like in a way that fans would say like go there and go there. But it's it's small details and I'm sure there are things which which has been inspired by this communication with the fans. The other thing is also once we we. Uh, we had already an early edit of the film. We organized some uh, fan screenings for the rough cut and, and got feedback, which was really valuable because uh, also the fans, uh, they are really, uh, they're the most critical uh, audience and they are very honest on their comments. And that was extremely uh, helpful for us to, to, to see, for example, maybe there's something in the edit that you doubt yourself, is this is really working? And, and and you see from the feedback, yeah, it doesn't, and and these kind of things. Uh, 
Um, well, oh, of course, everything is possible, and and uh, uh, obviously, when you make a film, you 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 want it to reach its audience, and you never know. And and of course, I'm nervous about that. And uh, uh, but also, on the other hand, um, um, I mean. The feedback what I have been getting from the film so far, it gives me at least uh, uh, quite a good yeah. confidence that there are people, but you know, who like it. But I'm sure there will be also people who don't like it. That it's it's not for everybody, and it's but it's an important and interesting thing to to then learn, like what what happened and why and and whatever. But for us, it's it's uh, uh, we try to build something. So I, I, of course, I hope that that we we take steps forward, you know, from the first film and and now the second, and it it should take steps in the right direction, also in the sense of of distribution and and the audience. Yeah. And what was your first thought when you read about script or about the movie back then? Um, my first thought was that uh, uh, when I read something from from this first time was that that uh, my question was can can there be something which is which is uh, crazy enough after the moon Nazis and when we had this concept and we had some material I was convinced that yes we have so that was my first impression there. We, we call this like Iron Sky: The Coming Race. You could say that it's the second part of the uh, Moon Nazi trilogy. So we have a plan for third series, third part in this storyline, and uh, and I can tell you that it, it will take place on Mars planet, Mars, the red planet, and we have communists there because this is an adventure you can't miss because it's built in such a crazy setting that uh, uh, you haven't seen it before. Yeah.